And good evening. We have new information tonight about the victim and suspect in a north side homicide. The victim found in her apartment on Calypso Road yesterday, described as vibrant and fun loving by family and friends. Police say they discovered the suspect in the case was in the hospital. News 3's Jessica Arp has the latest. Madison police say they found a connection between a car fire reported here at Ryandall Park that you can see the remnants of in the parking lot and a homicide reported yesterday. When we arrived there, uh, it was a fully engulfed car and the person who had been in the car was out with paramedics. At that time, uh, we didn't know that this person was going to become our homicide suspect. The suspect in the homicide on Madison's north side, police say is the boyfriend of the victim, who friends and family identify as 24-year-old Christina Hatcher. She was just absolutely perfect. I loved her to death. Hatcher's friend Brittany Latham describes the Ohio native as fun-loving and a good mother to her two young daughters. Latham says she only met Hatcher's boyfriend once, but sensed trouble between the couple dating only a few months. There was no real physical signs, but you could just kind of tell that something was going on. And she said that they did argue here and there, and um, he was... Um, always worried about her cheating or something like that. Police say there's still not enough evidence to arrest the boyfriend. As we get more information, and depending on what he tells us, uh, we might move to an arrest more quickly than not, uh, but it also could be that we're going to have to depend on forensics to make a, a strong connection between our suspect and our victim. The connection remains between Hatcher and Latham, who says she is simply devastated. She left all of us behind, you know, it's just... It's going to be very hard and no one's ever going to be able to replace the type of friend that she was to me. Police say the man found in the car here in the parking lot remains in the burn unit at the hospital tonight. On Madison's east side, Jessica Arp, WISC News 3. In a statement, Christina's mother, Angie, said Christina was a vibrant, beautiful young mother who loved her daughters and was working toward a better life for them. Angie goes on to say Christina was a daughter that was a handful at times. She was as stubborn as her dad and as sensitive as me. She didn't deserve this.